Hi, I'm Minakshi from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will see how to enable RFC trace for HTTP connections in IICS. The agenda of this video is to discuss data integration using SAP tables and enable RFC trace for SAP connections in IICS. We can integrate SAP data dictionary objects using the SAP table connection in IICS. We can use SAP table connector to read data from SAP and write to any target. We can also write data from any source to custom tables in SAP. Please note that we cannot write data to standard tables in SAP. We can read data from transparent tables, cluster tables, pool tables, views, and above CDS views. Note that data is streamed to the secure agent through HTTP or HTTPS protocol. SAP table connector also supports joins and filters on the source tables. We can also use the SAP table reader connection to read data from an SAP ADSO object. To write data to an ADSO object, use the SAP ADSO writer connector. Now let's see how to enable RFC trace. RFC trace will be helpful for troubleshooting SAP connection issues. It can be enabled for SAP table reader, SAP BAPI connection and IDOC connections. To enable the trace, we have to edit the SAP nwrfc.ini file, which is located in the secure agent. And we have to add the parameter trace equal to one for the required destination entry. Once the trace is enabled, the trace is set to one. We have to restart the job for which tracing is enabled. Now suppose if we test the connection or during the design time, the trace will be generated in the data integration server ICS main Tomcat location. Whereas for the runtime, the trace will be generated in ICS main bin RDTN. Also note that if trace equal to one does not generate any trace, we, we can change it to RFC underscore trace. And we have to also make sure that secure agent is running with admin privileged user. Now let's go to the demo section. So here I have already opened the mapping for which we will test the RFC trace. Now this is the connection that uh, we are using here. So here we see that the destination entry is SAP underscore R3 underscore EL6. I have placed the INI file inside apps data integration server ext deployed to main bin RDTM. So this is the INI file which we have to edit and enable the RFC trace. This is the INI file and the destination entry is SAP R3 EL6 which we just saw. And for the trace parameter, I have set it to one. So this means that the trace is enabled. Now let's try to test this connection and uh, note that once we test the connection, it will generate a design time RFC trace. And uh, the trace location for design time and runtime traces are different. So we will try to test this connection. and we see that the test connection is successful. Now let's try to run this job and uh, generate the runtime RFC traces. So we see that this job has failed. Now let's check if the runtime traces are generated or not. So runtime traces will be generated in ICS main bin RDTM directory. Here we see that JCO RFC traces have been generated. So we can analyze these RFC traces and look for the error. We would love to hear from you. Please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.